Well, I was diagnosed with scoliosis when I was nine. I found out when I was in elementary school that I had scoliosis. Scoliosis, like, changes you kind of when you have it. It's hard. It's hard going to the doctor's appointments. It's hard going to therapy twice a week. It's hard, you know, going to, we have to travel to Virginia every six months to get the brace made. So all of a sudden, I have a 45 degree curve in my back and surgery is the only option. So therefore, I was handed a box of tissues to just sit there and take it. And this would say I'm a brave girl and comfortable with my brace. What to say that? Yeah, I had quite the body deformity. If you looked at pictures of what I looked like when I was younger, you physically saw that my upper rib cage slid to the right while my lower bottom just hung over to the left. It's unusual in a high school class to not have one or two kids in a scoliosis brace. Well, I know that it's like, if it's not treated, it could become something worse, and that when it's treated, it becomes something smaller. If it curves too much, it could crush your organs. My pain became very persistent. I had a lot of back pain. And one day I asked my mom to rub my back and she lifted up and she just gasped because she saw a huge rib hump and another rib cage that just collapsed in. It hurt. It was physically extremely painful and I wouldn't wish it on anybody. The best treatment for scoliosis right now is use of a customized brace and that needs to be worn through the adolescent growth spurt. Then... This... Kind of... Okay. So, you know, I wore a back brace for 16 hours a day for three years. And, you know, every four, three, three to four months I had x-rays. It's like you see like the pile of all the x-rays on like the counter and you pull them up and you just see like my progression throughout the years. And it's just crazy the amount of x-rays I had to get. She's a young lady and, you know, all that radiation can be damaging and I don't want her to, she's got enough going on. There's been a new recognition about being as safe as possible in healthcare, but also specifically with regard to exposure to radiation. If I could reverse it and use EOS, for example, something with less radiation, I would have done it in a heartbeat. It's and better for you. Well, it is better for me. It's more healthy for you to have and less. Instead of that old plano x-ray. Right. I just think it's great knowing that I'm living in a time when they're capable of doing this. EOS is the brilliant evolution of a scientific breakthrough that allows simultaneous biplanar radiography. What that means is that it allows images from the front view and the side view to be acquired at the same time, and it does that by an X-ray being focused through a very small slit which greatly reduces the x-ray exposure to the patient. This situation, this surgery, this diagnosis is, comes with a lot of side effects and a lot of mental strain and all that. So knowing that you can just go and take an x-ray and it's over in a couple seconds, I think helps a little bit with the mindset. Now with EOS, we have that capability, that three-dimensional imaging, that quality of data at a very small fraction of the dose of radiation that was available before. Yeah, I just walked in and I just stood there and I thought it was really cool and really different and really, I guess, age of the future kind of because it doesn't feel so prehistoric and old-fashioned and sketchy. I see the data, the research, and the better understanding that will come from EOS as part of our drive at Columbia to continually to improve care, and I'm certain it will. The EOS system really would have helped me because I was young and um, I don't think I should have been exposed to that much amount of x-rays than I was. If my mom could drop down here, she would. She really wants the EO system in hospitals. She fights for them, actually. And she wishes that some of the patients can use them because it, it's better than being exposed to so much rays. And not only that, but it helps the doctors better view what's happening. And recently I did find a lump on my breast. So, I have to see a breast surgeon in a few days. This is the second time this has happened. I'm 19. No girl my age should go through the fear I live. You know, I do breast exams every month because I'm just afraid. If there was an EO system close by, I'd take her there 
Without a doubt, every time. I would actually kind of look forward to the appointments instead of having to, like, oh, that machine again. Oh, that machine again. I think it should be everywhere. <laughs> But the one thing with scoliosis that people forget is that this is a lifelong condition. This is not something that goes away. This is something you have to make a commitment to yourself. Well, he's been there for me every time when I was scared.